Okay, um, so let's do uh, another one of these ones, I guess. Um, calculate the average atomic weight of boron. Um, and this one, I guess, is interesting because it's telling you these are the two uh, main isotopes of boron, the two isotopes of boron that exist. Because um, you can see this plus this equals 100%. But this says it's boron 10, but it doesn't exactly weigh 10 AMU. And this one's 11, it doesn't exactly weigh 11 AMU. Before we were taking that as to equal exactly, you know, it was an exact number. But anyways, let's just do our calculation. So um, I guess if you want me to, um, I'll write it down again. So the average atomic weight, in this case of boron, we're going to want to take the decimal of the first. So divide it by 100%, 19 here. Giving myself two little bit. So 19.83% divided by 100% times, we're going to have this really long number 10, 0, 1, 2, 9, 4, and Okay, so there you go, it's a different uh, unit than the one we were doing before. Or a different form of the same unit, I guess I should say. But 100%, what is it, 80.17% times, Let's see if I can squeeze this in, 11.00. Nine three one AM. Okay, and then there's a bracket after that. So let's figure out this average atomic weight of boron. So you just kind of have to, I guess, remember the formula. Just um, get the fraction and then multiply it by that, then add the fraction product of that. Okay, so 19.83 divided by 100 times Hopefully you get the same answer as me, and we'll take it to four sig figs because of the two abundances. Um, it's going to be 10.81 AM. So hopefully by this time these things are not that much of a hassle for you. Um, if they are. Well, keep watching, watch these videos again and again, okay?